In this Skimp Beginner's Guide, I'm going to very quickly show you how you can turn an ordinary snapshot into a basic illustration. I've already opened my photo, so I'll zoom up on him by clicking on the zoom tool in the toolbox and dragging out a rectangle over him. Then I click on the free select tool in the toolbox and I click around him to select him. And to complete the selection and start the marching ants, I re-click in my first click point. And now I'm going to put a narrow line around that selected area. So I click on Edit in the menu bar and come down and click on Stroke Selection. And I'm going to change the line width to 2. And then I click on Stroke. And now I'm going to change the selection to the background and then delete it. And to do that, I click on Select in the menu bar and come down and click on Invert. And then I press the Delete key on my keyboard and delete the background. And now I'll deselect it by clicking on Select and None. And now I'll zoom him back down to his original size by clicking on the little button at the bottom of the image window and clicking on the original zoom size. And now I'm going to reduce the colours to straight black and white. So I click on Colours in the menu bar and come down and click on Threshold. Now to change the threshold, I simply move this little triangle underneath the graph. Now I quite like it there, but I can't see his arm outlines or his neckline. So I'll cancel the threshold and I'll draw his arms and neckline first and then reapply the threshold. So I click on the pencil tool in the toolbox and I'm going to change the size to 1 and now I'll draw the outline of his arms. So to do that I click my left mouse button where I want to start my line, hold down the shift key of my keyboard, move my mouse a little and click again, move my mouse a little along the line again and click again. And you'll see that while my shift key is held down, GIMP connects each click point with a straight line. So I can draw along his arm. 
creating a black line there. Now when I get to the end of where I want the line to be, I simply release the shift key on my keyboard. To start a new line, again I just click where I want the line to start, press down my shift key and hold it down until I want the line to end. And I release the shift key and I start again. And I'll do his neckline. And now I click on Colors in the menu bar again and click on threshold again and this time when I reduce the threshold those black lines that I created will stay there. And when you've got the threshold about where you'd like it click OK to confirm it. Now personally I want to get rid of this line underneath so now I click on the eraser tool in the toolbox and I'll take the size back to 20 and then simply erase that bottom line. And that's about it. So I hope that made sense, but as always, if you've got any problems or suggestions, please leave a comment.